Today we are talking about the Sigma 24 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 and why I think it may be that perfect lens for Sony E-mount or Leica L-mount users. So to peel back the veil of why I'm making this video, I actually shot that little sequence earlier in the week and when I filmed it, I really didn't have any intention to do anything with that footage other than just create. And so after thinking about it for a little bit, I figured this might be a good way to give you my kind of like long-term review or why I think this may be a really good lens to check out potentially if you are buying only one lens for your L or E mount system this may be the one you want to go with and so that's what this video is and so with that I have five reasons why I think this lens is perfect for the Sigma FP S1H or any other L or E mount camera so to start off the first reason why I think this may be the perfect lens is the overall versatility of this lens now the versatility is not just applicable to the focal length which the focal length is a versatile focal length. You have a wide angle with the 24 millimeter and a little bit more telephoto with the 70 millimeter, but that's not the only thing that makes this versatile. One being that this is an F2.8, and so you do have the ability to get in more low light scenarios or potentially more subject isolation. But the other thing that adds to the versatility of this lens is the minimum focusing distance. If you're a wedding videographer or filmmaker, one thing that you can do with this lens is you can get pretty decent close to your subject which allows for you to get a little bit more detail shots and so versatility is absolutely one reason why I say especially if you're a run-and-gun filmmaker this is absolutely a lens that will allow you to stay a little bit more run-and-gun a little bit more nimble because of its overall versatility so reason number two why I think this may be the perfect camera is because this is a really sharp lens but in the right scenarios does offer a decent amount of character normally if I'm doing a shoot where I want more character I'll use my Leica back here but with this shoot that I did for just this coffee sequence I used the 24 to 70 because it's just what I had and I had a black pro mist on it and honestly I found that in the right scenarios with the black pro mist I was getting a ton of really cool flares the flares that you see coming from that harsh sunlight through the window just added for some really cool interesting shots and so that's something that is really nice about this it is sharp but it does offer some character like I said in the right scenarios or potentially if you're adding additional filters or things like that just it's really sharp lens and so at this price range having that sharp of a lens is really nice to have and so you have versatility and you have sharpness the next reason why I think this may be the perfect lens is for stabilization now hear me out because the DGDN model is not stabilized but if you are looking at the older HSM model that does have optical stabilization and so that's something you may want to consider if you're deciding between the two the older model does offer optical stabilization now if you want the newer model and you're using the S5 or S1H, you can utilize the IBIS of that camera. And if you're using the FP and FPL and you don't shoot in the raw codec, you can actually take advantage of the electronic stabilization. And so that's something that's really nice about this lens if you are using the FP or FPL. My next point is also geared to L-mount users, and that's the fact that this is one of the lenses that is included in the firmware update that does allow for linear focusing. And so if you are using compatible L-mount cameras and you have your firmware updated with the 24 to 70 you can utilize linear focusing and so that's something that's really nice to have if you're a filmmaker trying to reliably pull or rack focus this does allow for linear focusing with again the appropriate L mount cameras now the last couple points was geared more towards L mount users but this last and final reason why I think this may be the perfect lens is geared towards everyone and that is the overall price point of this lens this lens is not cheap but for what it is it is substantially cheaper than some of the competition I just had a friend that bought an RF 24 to 70 f 2.8 and spent $2,500 or around $2,500 for that lens now I don't know if that lens is stabilized or a lot of the features of that lens but just looking at the price point at its most expensive cost the Sigma 24 to 70 is around $1,200 depending on where you get it now I purchased mine for a little bit over 900 because I bought mine used and so if you are looking at the used market you can definitely get a little bit cheaper but the fact that that's the price point of this lens when Sony and Canon are putting out lenses that are well into the 2000s that is something that is amazing 
amazing about what Sigma is doing with this lens. This is such a good value lens for what it is. Again, it's not cheap, but this does give you a little bit more budget friendly options when you are considering full frame lenses. And so again, the last reason why I think this may be the perfect lens for you, especially if you're a run and gun filmmaker is because of the overall cost and the value that this lens offers. And so with that, I do believe that this is the perfect lens for filmmakers that are looking to buy that one lens that can do a lot of things. This is absolutely one to check out, especially again, like I said before, if you're a run and gun filmmaker, hands down, I would be looking at the Sigma 24 to 70 F 2.8 DGDN or potentially the HSM model if you do want the optical stabilization or if you are a pocket user. And so that's it for me. I hope this really helped for you to see why I do really like this lens and why I would hands down recommend it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I definitely want to hear from you to see if you agree or maybe even disagree with my points that I've made. But that being said, as always, thank you all for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Stay safe. Be happy. Support each other. Wash those hands and I'll see you here next time. Peace. Oh, God.